What's going on, Jill? How has it been going with these sit-ups? It's been going good since I figured out how to do it right because I got called out. This is why, guys, you send your videos to your coach. I first did them as banded crunches, which, funny enough, when I did them the first time, I was like, okay, that wasn't really super hard. Granted, you're controlling how much you kind of choke up on the band, but I did the 10 with the band, and I just kind of tried to make it as hard as I could, and then did crunches, but I did a really good squeeze and hold at the top of the crunch and then I did like little pulse crunches like so I made it hurt eventually but it definitely was not quite the same when I did them right I was like oh yeah that was that was a lot better that was a lot harder <laughs> so I had um, just kind of a light long band uh, similar to what you would use for like an assisted pull up very light resistance though um, and I hung it on kind of the little hook on the edge of the decline bench so that was nice, kind of just put it around my shoulders so you can control the tension, um, grabbing kind of how high or low you need it so that you can actually complete the first 10. Um, but yeah, so full sit up, keeping tension on with the band, which is really nice because at the top, when kind of that gravity resistance ends, well, now you're still contracting those muscles because you have the band pulling back on you. So it's time under tension, just rips those abdominals apart, right. um, makes you go a little heavier, which is nice. Um, and then once you get to that and believe me, 10 was enough. Um, but once you got to the 10, you were kind of almost at failure. Then you let go of the band and you just do the full sit up. Now, granted, this is easier at the top, but you're already kind of sore and, and kind of fatigued. So then you push through that. Um, and if you have anything left, I like to just hold it right in the middle, kind of like the boat pose um, and just go until I basically fall back down to the bench. <laughs> um, so this is kind of just where we're at with abs for me being two weeks out, kind of just doing one thing um, every couple days, um, kind of more just the rectus abdominis. Um, I don't really need obliques for my category. Um, I don't need to be wider. So just kind of going straight down the middle and uh, doing as much as I can to just keep them ready to go. Um, definitely was a little sore the next day. I had not worked with a band for the abs in a long time. So it does make a big difference under that time under tension kind of scenario where you just don't get that from weights or body weight or anything like that. So adding the band is definitely a game changer, which is awesome. Um, tend to be a little bit explosive on the way up and then control on the way down so that you activate kind of those fast twitch fibers on the way up and then slow on the way down so that you're really keeping that time under tension. So Absolutely. It's, it's a goodie. Yeah, it, it, your abs should feel the next day like you went heavy doing like weighted sit-ups on the lat pull-down or some, a machine or something. That's kind of mm -hmm. like my favorite off-season ab exercise to get those grooves. And so this is supposed to imitate that. And so you should you, you should you should feel sore in your rectus abdominis the next day, but you shouldn't feel like any joint pain. Is that how you felt the next day? Absolutely perfect example. Yep. It Good kind stuff. of felt like if anybody has done sprinting where they haven't done sprinting in a long time, that soreness, like you'll, your abs will get sore from sprinting if you haven't been sprinting. For sure. Um, that was kind of the muscle soreness I felt like I had. But yeah, no joint pain, no pain, just muscle soreness. Yep. Very, In very all good. the right ways. <laughs> <laughs> well, clearly it's working for you. Your abs are looking spectacular right now. So proud of you, Jill. You're going to you. you're gonna rock that stage in two weeks. Let's Thank go. Thank you so much. <laughs> Excited.